The Armored Personnel Carrier OT-64 SKOT was a collaborative project between Czechoslovakia and Poland in the early 1960s. The Polish FCS provided the hulls and armaments, while the final assembly took place in Czechoslovakia by Tatra. The deliveries began in 1964, but production of this APC ceased in the early 1990s. Known as OT-64 in Czechoslovakia and SKOT in Poland, this armored personnel carrier is now outdated and is being replaced by more modern designs. The Czech Republic adopted the Panda II, and Poland opted for the Rosomac. Nevertheless, it remains operational with various foreign users including Algeria, Egypt, India, Uganda, Uruguay, and other nations. This APC bears a resemblance to the Soviet BTR-60P, yet Polish and Czechoslovakian engineers implemented several enhancements to their vehicle, making it somewhat superior to the BTR-60P. Unlike the BTR-60 series, where the engine compartment was rear-mounted, a drawback requiring troops to disembark under fire through hull sides and roof hatches, the OT-64 SKOT positions its engine compartment in the middle of the hull. The OT-64 SKOT offers comprehensive protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments, and it comes equipped with an NBC protection system. Originally, the Czechoslovakian OT-64 variants were not armed, being used primarily for transport. On the other hand, Polish Scots were armed with a single 7.62mm machine gun above the troop compartment. Initial production models in both countries featured shielded 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine guns. Later, all APCs were retrofitted with turrets resembling those of the BTR-60PB, armed with a 14.5mm heavy machine gun and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. With a crew of two and the capacity to carry up to 18 fully equipped troops, the troop compartment is situated at the rear of the hull. Troops can disembark through rear doors or roof hatches, while the commander and driver have their own side or roof hatches. Additionally, firing ports are available for the troops. The OT-64 SKOT utilizes various automotive components from the Tatra T813 8x8 heavy utility truck and is powered by a Tatra T928-14 air-cooled diesel engine generating 180 horsepower. This APC incorporates a central tire inflation system and is fully amphibious, propelled on water by two water jets. Variants include the improved OT-64B slash SKOT-2 with shielded 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine guns, the OT-64C slash SKOT-2A with a turret akin to the Soviet BTR-60PB APC armed with a 14.5mm heavy machine gun and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. All Polish and Czechoslovakian APCs were upgraded with these turrets. This variant accommodates a crew of 3 and 15 troops. The Polish SKOT-2 AP variant features an indigenous turret and the capability to engage low-flying air targets. It also has a crew of 3 and carries 15 troops. Other variants include the Czechoslovakian DPT-65 Armored Recovery Vehicle, the OT-64R Signals Vehicle, and an Armored Command Vehicle.